Yeah, of course. Yeah. A lot of heads coming from it. Nice golden color. Nice and bright. See that sunlight going right through it? Huge head on it. Okay, round number one we have one Wicked one. Weed. One of one Appalachian Session IPA. We're going to crack this one open. Got special guest Dave Dewar, brother from Another Mother. Thanks for the invite. It feels so great to be back. Hey! Better Dan. Just beginning. Popping out the wicked weed. We got the wicked weed over here. So everything. What is it? Appalachian. Four point, yeah, four point seven percent. All right, pour We're that. Crack it. That no. bad boy. Pour it. I'm not a certified cicerone, but I know what I'm doing. You're pouring it. Okay. That just makes perfect. There we go. There we go. Forty-five degree pour. Bam. Got a nice little head, frothy, That's foamy. Nice. That is, uh, yeah. nice light color to it. It looks like kind of like a uh, straw color. Let me get a little smell of it. Where's this from? North Carolina? North Carolina. Ton of grapefruit. David, what do you get out of that? Yeah, what do you get out I of that? I didn't even dude? taste it. Give it a little smell. I got two sisters. Proper technique. Or... You got to cup it, then give it a little Don't whisk. sweat technique. And we're going to quick dry by. Quick dry by. Smell. Yep. Then until it hits your nose. There you go. Then it leaves. I guess I'll have a sip without any cheese. Well, it smells like it's going to have a good amount of hops I usually do have cheese at my, my beer fest, but it's been a minute. Uh, Find your own cheese. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's see. That's good. You can taste the grapefruit in there. Um, it's a little nutty, you know, not bad. I'd say there's not many wicked weeds you could drink on the beach. I would drink this on the beach. I would drink that on the beach. I this would say... I'd drink it in a chair. I'd drink it at the beach. I'd drink it everywhere. Citrusy, for you. light, sweet. Uh, you're getting a ton of. Uh, I don't know if that's dry hop to it, but it, it, it sits on the I'd back of your palate. Some dry to, yeah. You get the uh, nice the clear foam. color too, like a sour color almost to it. You can like Good. you know look, you know. You get it all. I'm driving. Everybody, it is round two of the Entitled Beer Fest show. We have Kona Brewing Company, Hanalea Island IPA. Hanalea. We're going to crack this open. I'm a big fan of Kona. All about surfing, hitting the waves, eating some fish tacos. So we're going to pour this one. Looking nice right now. You say bad boy. Color. Oh, I'm restricting boy. the bad Diddy, boy. Diddy must, not so be, Diddy must not be paying him enough. Nah, Diddy needs to write me a check, man. All of them need to write me a check. Not a lot of head from it. It dissipates very fast. Let's get a little smell in there. Yeah. Get a smell. What do you get from that? I don't get a little fruit on, like the guava, the agave. I smell sex wax. Is Is that sex wax, Mr. Boggs? I think I think so. I oh, I get surfboards. I get a little. I can go with that, like a little coconut oil I type. Like that's a good idea. Coconut lotion. I feel like I'm on the beach right now. What do you? A little about? orange, like a passion fruit. Taste into it like an orange passion yeah. taste to it, like citrus. I like that. The Mr. Mr. Sex Sex or Sex Wax. What is it? Mr. Mr. Boggs? What is it? Mr. Uh, what no. is it? Sex. sex Wax. Sex Wax. So, so the surfboards. It's Sex Wax. That's what it reminds me of. Showing on the beach. If you were to chew it. Suntan lotion. Fruitiness. Putting sex Wax on my board and then chewing it as well. And rubbing one out to it too. Yeah, it's exactly. You know. Oh. Pull on your nose. Pick it up. Uh, solid light beer, man. We just had two summer good. beers in a row. How are you going to yeah, rate that? That's good. Um, One out of ten. Uh, ten say, being the best. Uh, five not being an option. I'd give it a. I'd give it a seven point four. Ooh. I wouldn't drink a ton of these. Yeah. Uh, this is more of a one and done for me. Yeah. But it's yeah, good. I'm glad I tried this. I'd give it an eight. I, I think it's good. I think I can, something I could see myself, you know. Chilling at the bar, drinking, you know, having a good time. Like uh, Dave said, not too many. Maybe like, I'd probably have like three and then, you know, end it and get something different. But uh, eight sounds good. Let me try it one more time. It's drinkable, summertime beer. Uh, I'll give it a 7.5. Kudos, man. Good beer, Kona. You know what time it is. The entitled Beer Fest show going down right now. It is early May. We're about to crack some nice, citrusy, hazy IPAs. We got Sugar Creek out of... 6%, baby. Carolinas. Ow! Juicy Haze IPA. Pour that bad boy for life up. Hey! Chilling in the man cave. Dave Dewar on the clutch. Hey -oh. 
He's the connoisseur right there. Let's get it going. Look at that nice pour Thunder Dan's doing. 45 degree yeah, angle. Nice little head. Nice and light. Flat, fluffy and cloudy. Nice it's and pouring fluffy. almost like a Hefenweizen right That's there. That's what I am. I'm not fat. I'm fluffy. You're fluffy? You taste good too like this hazy IPA? Yeah, I do. Look at that. I can just fall in love with that color right there. I could paint my house that color. I don't know. HOA might get mad. Paint me that color. Beautiful. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. <coughs> See ya. Uh, um, a little soapiness on the back end, Soapy. citrusy, okay. little grapefruit, you get that cloudy favor to it, but you also don't get that hard IPA taste, it's more of like yeah. a juice. Yeah, definitely the juice aftertaste. Not good. bad. A teeny tiny sour. Teeny tiny sour. You a little puckery, a little, puckery. Yeah, a little puckery on your palate. Puckeroo, yeah, puck, puck, puckeroo. I could see puckeroo that in the mouthfeel to it. So, we didn't so. even give it a smell. Let's give it a Pucker smell. Pucker up for Sugar Creek. It's like yeasty. Hmm. Definitely cloudy right there. Yeah, it's can't see cloudy. through it. Can't see through. I love those all. hazies, man. They're they're kind of the hipster drink right now for like beers, man, but. I gotta say, they're fantastic. What are you gonna rate that one? Oh man, I'm gonna go. Uh, and you've had uh, some hazies before. We've I'm had go, a few hazies. Uh, 7.5. 7. 7.5 out of 10. Man, but it's all Something right. didn't pull it's you in. It's an average beer. Me and Thunder might have slightly different palates. We've been flip flopped on all of our scores. But yeah. Uh, I'd give that 8.5. Okay. I like the all more right. juicy, the better. Yeah, that juiciness cuts that uh, IPA down a little, the hoppiness. Juicier the fruit. The I'll give it a taste. solid 8. I'll give it 8.2. 8 8.2. 8 Shout out, Sugar Creek. Keep them coming. I still love you, Sugar Creek. I still love you. It's still a solid score. Not a big fan, average, you know? It's still a good score, though. Love you guys still. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, we got that quarantine life going on right now. This is round three of the Entitled Beer Fest show. Up at bat, we have Glitter Pony Trippel. I love my Trippel in Belgiums. This one is not made in Belgium, obviously. It's a South Carolina beer. It is 8.4%. So that's a beast right there. Oh. I'm a beast. You want to see me as a beast? It's like Xena, Warrior Princess. Oh, yeah, you got nothing on me. Yep. Ah! It's like 300 minus the 300. It's like 299. All right, we're pouring the Lo-Fi Tripel. You got a nice fruity, kind of like a darker golden color. The head stays there. Let's get a smell of it. Get that ale yeast like a Belgium, real sweet. Oh, it smells good. Herbs, spices, kind of like a Hefenweizen. Get that cloudy, clovey flavor to it. Very good. I'm liking it right now. We got Glitter Pony Trippel. Here we go. Trying Glitter Pony Lo-Fi Trippel Belgium. Yeah, you are a Glitter Pony, aren't you? Yeah, I got a little sum on my nose. Can you get that? Oh, let me get this. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Let me squeeze you that off real quick. Hold on. Hold up. Let me... uh. There we go. All right. Nice thank you, thank you, thank you. We got the Trippel by Lo-Fi. Let's give it a little sample. Kind of like a Hefenweizen sweet. Oh, yeah. We got that cloudiness. The right after a nap. Nice frothiness from the beer. It does have nice frothiness. It's nice and smooth, too. The ale you know, yeast, nice and like sweet. Like a banana nut flavor, you know, nutmeg almost sort of deal. Very, very good beer. I love it my Trappels. Love it! I don't get that hoppiness. Obviously, you get that Belgium sweetness. You don't get the hoppiness, but you get the happiness. That's the best part. You gotta love the sweetness of these beers, man. Belgium's are the way to go. Cheers. You guys know that's our favorite. You guys knocked it out the park. I'll give it a 8.2 for American Belgium. Way to hold it down. Uh, I think I'm gonna go uh, 8.7. 8.7. Solid scores, low five. Hey, we got Paloma Goza. Goza right in my mouth, but I'm drinking it. Sycamore Brewing. 
North Carolina, Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Agosa. We haven't had too many Gosas on the entire Five percent, five point zero. Daddy's thirsty. All right, Daddy's thirsty. I'm gonna give Daddy some drinkage, so he can put it in his go. He could go and put it in his mouth. Though. Put it in the Gosas. There we go. I'm gonna put it in the Gosas. So you got a leak in your can? Oh uh, yeah, I keep doing the tin the man, bro. Uh, yeah. Tin man over here. Sorry, I'm rust. Going. Let's see that. Let's look at it real quick. Look at that. You get that like citrus, ambery color to it. Nice head. It doesn't dissipate. It stays there nice yeah, and frothy. Does. Good. Oh, you get that saltiness from a goza, of yeah. course. What well, carbonation? Yeah, definitely the carbonation sits there, but you get it's like a nice little aroma, like a beach flavor aroma. But you get that saltiness. It's yeah, like beach salt. Yeah, you're right. It's like a little peanut. Peanut salt, maybe? I can go with peanut salt. I've never heard that before, but I like that yeah. idea. Peanut salt! That's what it reminds peanut me of. Peanut salt! Woo! Alright, now we're gonna taste right, it. Let's give it a little taste. Wow. Okay, so it's got a strong taste. Because I think it's like the grapefruit and well, the lime. It's like a lime oh and a God. grapefruit mix. Dude. Like that'll make you pucker up, you know? Fantastic. The grapefruit bounces the wow. lime in a very weird way, and the saltiness just brings it all together. It's like putting some salt. Ooh. It's like putting some salt around the rim of a margarita, oh. and putting a grapefruit uh, drink mix in there with a little bit of lime on the side. Yeah. That's the drink tastes like. Sycamore. <laughs> Except palm not tequila. Oil. The beer. I said palm oil. Palm oil gose. <laughs> Fantastic. Palm oil. Sounds like what your grandma used to smoke Smoked back in the day, yeah. Troy Palma. Yeah, Troy Palma. Bro, fantastic beer. This one, unique, a lot of different levels and flavors. Guys, I definitely suggest drinking this on a nice Cheers tropical day. Cheers to Sycamore. Day. Cheers to Sycamore. Very nice, Sycamore. I'm very proud of this one. Very this is job. a really good one. Wow. Very unique. That's right. Bad boy. Here we That's go. what we say. We bad boys for life. He loves his bad boys. He we loves ain't bad boys, guys. going nowhere. He loves the bad boys. Can't be stopped now. Uh oh.